a gigantic construction site, part of a highway set to run 170 kilometers across Montenegro, financed with the help of a 1 billion euro loan from China. This stretch of construction is along the Tara River, part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Some environmental activists say the decision to build here was a mistake. There have been 18 alternatives in a strategic impact assessment. And why is a great, great question. None of these is just considering that this is UNESCO site and some other alternative should be taken for the Tara River. The Tara River Gorge is one of the deepest in Europe. The river basin is a biosphere reserve. The water that flows from the higher elevations is crystal clear. Environmental activist Natasha Kovacevic says it's one of the most ecologically important regions in Montenegro. It's host for many important species, species like uh, trout species, otters, and uh, similar. So. Uh, downstream 100 kilometers it causes a really important impact to the habitats in this area about 100 kilometers downstream is where the chinese financed highway will run directly across a tributary of the tara river building on this terrain is complicated and expensive the activist believes that the valley route was chosen because it's the cheapest option Biologists studying the issue say that the construction project is destroying the habitat of various fish and plant species. All this river is not recognizable at this place. We have 20 pillows of the bridge that we can see here, which are in the middle of the riverbed. That's thus all river is channelized, it's altered, and it's destroyed. It's all digged up from the bottom to the shores. And Really, it doesn't look at itself and on one man and by a sphere site it should be. Up to 4,000 construction workers from China have been working here during peak construction phases. Chinese companies are raking in the profits but paying precious little in tax. Plus, all the construction materials and equipment imported from China are exempt from customs duties. Kovacevic's environmental organization employs 15 people. Their work is supported by donations, as well as some funding from the European Union. While we're filming, a guard pops up and orders us to leave the area, even though we're on a public road. Chinese manager just said that we have to leave the place because we can take a photo of the Tara, but we cannot take a, a records of the construction because this is something that should be forbidden. So we're leaving the site now. A local resident shows us some of the damage. Dirt and sand from the construction site is silting up the river. The fisherman believes the habitat of the trout that used to be plentiful in these waters is being destroyed. Fish like this. The new highway will connect Montenegro's Adriatic coast to the north of the country. In the capital Podgorica, the state-run agency Montiput is responsible for the construction work. The director insists it's all in accordance with EU standards. We're on the right path because we want to develop northern Montenegro. That helps the country and Europe as a whole. The north of the country is underdeveloped compared to the south. But the north has enormous potential in the areas of industry, tourism and energy. Mans is an anti-corruption watchdog that keeps a close eye on the Montenegrin government. Dejan Melovac is investigating the financial impact of the billion euro loan. It's a difficult task because the government is keeping the financial details under lock and key. Milovac's research shows that construction contracts to domestic firms are only going to companies with close ties to the government. He's also discovered that under the terms of the loan, an arbitration court in China would have jurisdiction over any legal disputes. And if Montenegro can't repay the debt in time, China would be able to make collateral claims.
If we cannot repay the law, the Chinese bank can ask for, a, for example, for a portal bar, or can ask for the, some mine with a with coal, or can ask to construct a dance for hydropower, or can ask to take over the railroad. So there is a precondition which is uh, providing so little protection for the economic and, let's say, state interest of the, of the government of Montenegro. Montenegro is a small country with a population of just over 600,000. The average income is around 500 euros a month. The Chinese loan is worth almost one-fifth of Montenegro's GDP. We ask Montaput's director for his assessment. There are always risks associated with any construction project. The government investigated these risks in full detail. So we can say that the project won't be a problem for the Montenegrin budget. It's important to know that every cent of highway tolls will go into paying back the loan. We believe we'll be able to pay it back down to the last cent. We head to an area just south of the capital where another section of highway is under construction. Pitted against a billion euro project, environmental activists like Natasha Kovacevic are very much underdogs. But she's determined to speak out against the lack of transparency and rampant environmental destruction. The issue is that we are coming from the democratic background and we, we, we learn to discuss about things, especially when they have this big impact. With a Chinese investor and, and their culture, actually, it's more about just straight forwarding and doing things without of two questions. And of course, that it, it also causes some clashes and non-understanding. For the time being, this is still a highway to nowhere. Whether the new superhighway will ever reach neighboring Serbia is very much an open question.